Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another episode in finding those great images that are free for you to download and copyright free or in public domain so that you can use them in your art and then turn around and sell that piece of art. I'm going to do my few disclaimers here at the beginning. Remember that I am in the United States and so my copyright rules may or may not be different from wherever it is you live. So even though I am showing you sites where you can download images that are listed in the public domain and copyright free, you have to do your own due diligence to make sure that the rules are in effect for your country and where you are going to be selling your art. Also, just because I need to do this as often as possible to remind people, Pinterest is not another word for public domain, so please, if you do get something off of Pinterest, do your own due diligence to certify that it is actually in the public domain and it is, there is no licensing attached to it. All right, so where are we going to go today? How about we go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art? Now, don't get too freaked out because it's a little bit more difficult to navigate than some of the other sites, but really, it's, it's a fun place to go look for, again, images that may not be coming up in some of the larger sites. And yes, it's a big site, but it's not, trust me, okay, just come along for the ride and let's see what we can find, all right? When you first arrive at the Met, if you just go to their main web page, this is what you're going to see. And other than the search button, which you're free to go ahead and use, there isn't an easy way to access things right from here. Don't worry, I'm going to make it easy on you. So let me tell you a little bit about the Met. What they did back in February of 2017 is they released all their public domain images into the wild, into the digital wilds, under something called the Creative Commons Zero licensing. And you will see that listed as CCO. If you're on some other sites, you might see when it says uh, what licenses is available. If it says CC0, then it is the Creative Commons Zero, and not only is it in the public domain, but you do not have to give any attribution to where you got that image from. So it does save you a little bit of time. If you're an artist that wants to create work and release it yourself into the public domain for anybody to use without giving any credit, you can release it as a CC0 licensing and people will know that they're free to use it. So, <clears throat> so the Met went ahead and released over 400,000 images. It might be more now from the time that they did that, but with them it's called open access, all right? Open access for them, how can you identify that it's something that's an open access, which means it is that CC0 license, is on the image down here on the bottom left hand corner. This is only when you are at the Met, the Museum of Metropolitan Museum of Art. It will say OA public domain. And how do you download those images? So a couple things. Let's go to the page for this image. When you're at the image, you can either click the little arrow down here, and that's going to bring you to a larger size, and you can keep clicking until you get it as large as possible. And then you can right click. I'm on a PC. I'm not sure what the method is on a Mac. But you can see here, that's that little OA public domain. Now, when you click on that, that's just going to take you back over to the Creative Commons licensing. So you can't use that as a rabbit hole. Aren't you glad? Because you probably already have lots of other rabbit holes. So what if you want to see all the things that are available in the open access? So I found it a little difficult to initially locate where the actual catalog was of those 400,000 images that were available. So I will put a link down in the description box to it for you. But here is the online collection, so you can start exploring the more than 406,000 open access images in the Met collection. So when you get here, if you just page down and start looking, you're going to see 3D objects, you're going to see all sorts of things, and it's not going to be as much fun. It's, it's a rabbit hole, but it's not a very fun rabbit hole as far as I'm concerned. So you can refine your search just a little bit more. You're searching just the open access collection. So once you get to this page, you should be okay. So maybe you want to come down here and you want to search for color lithographs. Let's see what that's going to take us. Okay, and on my screen here, it looks like nothing happened, so you have to page down. And now what you get, these are a whole bunch of those old cigarette cards that are just can be really fun. Look at that beautiful gal. So I could click on her. It's a trade card from the Parasol Drill Series issued in 1888. And see, there's that little OA, public domain. So I can click on the little download arrow. 
and there I've got my image. I can make it larger so that I'm getting the largest image and then I can do my save as and I can save it. So let's just see what other kind of lithographs they have in here. Color lithographs. Ice skating in Central Park, New York. So it looks like there's a lot of the cigarette cards in there. Now let's put 80 results on a page. What else do we have here? Polar bear, fish, birds, cool looking fish, beautiful woman, deer, California flags. I'm in California, so I should maybe get that one. So you've got lots and lots of things in the color lithographs that you can go through. Looks like if you wanted to do a circus one, music. Okay, let's see what else they have. They have got a category called ephemera. Let's see. Oh, these are even older. Beautiful. Old map. Beautiful women. More of the same kind of cards. All right, let's let's put in a different search thing. Let's see. This time let's search for All right, I'm going to take out the ephemera. Okay, so let's see what else we can search for. I can tell you that if if you click down here in the search options, if you're clicking down here and you click painting is one of the options that they have, and I thought that that would give me lots of the big canvases that were in the museum, and it did not. Oh, interesting. I, okay, so let's let's finish over here with objects and materials. Let's see what else do we have in ob objects and materials. So if you choose canvas, now suddenly you're getting some of these paintings, beautiful paintings. So any of these, of course, you could download in the same way we did in the other picture. Let's see. So, oh, look at here. You, doing something with cats. Two children. They say teasing a cat. Oh, I see, because they've got bugs. Portrait of a woman. This is a Rembrandt. Fabulous. Look at that. Oh, she's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that's if you're looking under, the filter is under the object type and material. So I'm going to take that off. And now let's look in the department and see what we might find that looks interesting in departments. Drawings and prints. Some etchings from old books. Beautiful girl. Oh, actress. So that's another way you can search is through departments. What other options did we have up here? Let's take that one off. And let's look at... I saw medieval. There we go. Medieval art. She can find some neat things in there. Oh. Medieval art, object type. Let's look at books. So it's in the medieval art department, but it's a book. So we maybe we can find some pretty plates. Look at there. Yes. Illuminated manuscripts. Gorgeous. So like I said, this is not as easy to navigate, but you might find some things that are a little less the norm that you might see showing up on the other sites that we've been to so far.
That is the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and I will put all the links to how to get there down in the description below. Please join me again when we will go visit another place to look for some more terrific images, both photographs and illustrations that you can download for free and use for free. And remember, the Mu Metropolitan Museum of Art is operating under the Creative Commons Zero license in this particular collection. Not everything that you see online, but in this particular collection. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.